Hey, Jungle Explorer here, and uh, today what I'm going to show you how to do is adjust the valves on a Briggs & Stratton 17.5 horsepower overhead valve engine. This one here is on my Craftsman LT1000, so it says Craftsman uh, I slash C on there, but actually what it is is a Briggs & Stratton engine here, and there's quite a few videos on YouTube about this, but I'm going to try to do a little bit better video for you just uh, because... There's a lot of confusion out there, and if you watch a bunch of different videos, you're going to get a bunch of different information. So um, let's just go right into this. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is take the little valve cover off. This is a 3 8 inch nut here, so we'll just uh, take these off. You can use a ratchet or a wrench. Ratchet makes it easier, or driver cordless driver it should come right off the engine hasn't been too overheated be a little oil in here there shouldn't be a whole lot there's a good there's a seal here you need to make sure that seal is good uh, if, if the seal here is good then you're okay if it's damaged you might need another one um, but it should be okay. Th these things get quite a, these are your valves here. They get out of adjustment quite a bit on this engine. Um, and there's a lot of confusion as to how to adjust them. Um, the very first thing you have to establish is which is the intake valve and the exhaust valve. You would think it'd be an easy question to, to answer, but uh, there's actually a lot of opinions on it. Uh, there's a different adjustment. Some people, because they don't determine the intake and the out, the, the intake valve and the exhaust valve, they adjust them both to the same thing. And that will work. This engine doesn't have to be exactly precise to work, okay? But if you really want to get it precise, you need to determine which one is the intake valve and which one take it, which one is the, out, uh, the exhaust valve. Um, so, okay, uh, which one is it? Well, you can look and look and look. You're not going to find a manual that's going to point to it. But this, there's a simple process by which you actually determine which is the intake uh, valve and the, the exhaust valve. Um, normally the intake valve is going to be lined up with the intake from the carburetor and the exhaust valve is going to be lined up with the exhaust valve but in this case it's both of them are lined up with one valve so how we're going to determine this is by turning the engine. It's good to take the spark plug out so that you re remove the compression off the engine to do this so I'm going to reach up here and I'm just going to spin the motor okay and watch for the first valve to begin to move okay so as I spin the motor around here okay we see that this valve is the first one to move this is the intake it's taking fuel in okay and then next after it will be the exhaust valve and the exhaust valve will move okay so now we know by turning the engine that this is the intake valve and this is the, uh, the exhaust valve. Now that we've determined that the top one is the intake valve, we need to get the engine in the position of what's called top dead center or TDC. And in order to do that, we're again going to spin the engine by hand, but this time we're going to stick a, a screwdriver, not, nothing sharp, but just put it in here. Now the cylinder, when you go in here, you want to be delicate. There's a cylinder in here. You don't want to damage that. So what you want to do is just spin the engine until, see, it's, now watch, it's going to push. you got to be careful because it comes out at kind of angle. It's pushing the screwdriver backwards, outwards, until it gets to the top, okay? Now, once it gets to the top, right there is top dead center, right there. Okay, now I'm going to spin it a little bit more, and you'll see the screwdriver start to move back in. Okay, that's, that's going in. Now, according to the manual, you want it to go one quarter inch past top dead center. Okay, so you, this is going to, you're just going to have to eyeball it uh, based on a quarter inch, but a quarter inch is not much. Just a little bit past, you want to drop it in as it goes in. I'm kind of watching this edge right here and watching the screwdriver as it goes in about a quarter inch, all right? So right about there. 
Now you could measure that with some type of measuring device if you wanted to. I'm just kind of eyeballing it there. All right, so it's about a quarter inch past top dead center. You know, so find top dead center and take it in just a little bit. Now we're going to adjust the valves. Okay, now to adjust the valves, you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need a filler gauge. Um, this is a filler gauge. Uh, this is a stainless steel one uh, that I got off Amazon.com. Really good so it, don't, it doesn't rust. Okay, you're gonna need a 10 inch, a, a 10 millimeter uh, wrench, box in wrench, and you're gonna need a size 20 star bit, T20 star bit, okay? You're gonna need those three things. Go ahead and I'm gonna use the driver that uh, I use to measure, to find top dead center, and we'll use that, okay? All of these tools come out of my, my, crap, my crescent tool kit here, all right? Except for the filler gauge, I bought that separately. All right, now, now what we gotta do is adjust the valve clearances. You see these are kinda loose right here. Now the clearance is measured between this rocker arm and the top of the valve there. And there should be some little seats in there that, uh, that if you open it up and there's these little seats, let me get a little screwdriver here. If your engine's running bad and you open it up, make sure the little seats that are right here, they're separate. It's hard to tell this right here, but there are these little seats here. If they get, if this gets loose, those things can fall off and that's when it'll start running really rough. So make sure those seats are on there. If they're not, you may have to back this off and put those on there. Okay, sometimes they'll be in the bottom of, of the, uh, the housing here. Okay, so what we need to do is find out the adjustments. Now, according to the manual, uh, there's a lot of different ideas. Some people say adjust them to six thousandths. Some people say four thousandths. But the actual measurements for these motors is kind of a variable. This one can be from five to, the, the intake can be from five to seven thousandths. Six thousandths would be in the middle of the road. The, the exhaust can be from nine to eleven thousandths, ten thousandths being the middle of the road, okay? So those are from the actual specs. Now you can set them both to six thousandths and the engine will run. It's just not gonna run perfectly, but you may never even notice the difference. But we're gonna set it according to the manufacturer specs for this engine. So what we're gonna do is go on to our, our filler gauges here and we need to find the uh, filler gauges is gonna have numbers on them right here. Okay, and, and you just go through them like a deck of cards until you find this one. First, we're gonna do the intake. This is four thousandths right here, six thousandths, okay? We're just gonna do middle of the road. It says from five to seven, so we're just gonna do six thousandths there. All right, now, this, nut, you're gonna need your star bit to go in, and this is called the jam nut. Basically, it stops. It, it's not an adjusting nut. It locks the nut into place. So we're gonna loosen the jam nut, okay? Now that gives us the ability then, let's go ahead and put our, our wrench on here to adjust, and you can actually do this by hand. It'll move very slowly. You wanna put this, the filler gauge, in between the valve and the rocker arm, okay? And you see right now, I'm trying to push on it, it won't go in, so it's too tight. So I'm gonna back off a little bit here. You want it, you want it to be just where you feel a little tiny bit of drag. This is very sensitive, okay? Very sensitive, a little bit of tiny bit of drag. Now, that's where it's good, right there. Now it was almost right, so you want to be really careful not to move this once you put this on. You, all you're doing is going to hold that nut in place while you tighten the jam nut up, putting very little pressure on it, okay? Don't, don't tighten it up too much to start off with, because like, see, I got it a little bit too tight. Well, let's see, hold on, okay. It's just a smidgen too tight, so I need to back up now. With, because I didn't tighten the jam nut all the way up, I can actually move it back just a smidgen. Oops, right there. Let's see how that how that worked. Okay, much better. All right, and now I'm going to tighten the jam nut down again and recheck. Okay, there we go. It's it's tight, but it's not dragging too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and it's pretty stable. Put the the, the wrench on there, and now give it a 
good you really want to tighten this down okay that way it stays in that position all right now we're going to adjust the the exhaust now to do this like i said the exhaust can be from nine to eleven thousandths so we're going to go middle of the road and we're going to do ten thousandths again going through our deck of cards here till we get to there's seven eight There's some oil on this, so my hands have got some oil on them. Having a little bit of a difficult time finding it. Okay, 10 thousandths is actually gold, so. All right, now, let's go ahead and see if the 10 thousandths will fit in there. It, it will, okay? But it's a little loose, so what we need to do is kind of tighten that up just a smidgen. So I'm gonna come in here and loosen the jam nut. All right, now I can actually tighten it by hand. We'll get it by hand, just, okay, so it's too tight, just where we need it, right, right there, okay. Now, just for measurement purposes, I'm going to secure it with my finger and just tighten the jam nut ever so slightly by hand. Make sure that I measure it still good, still good there. Now slip on the wrench, holding it in place. Tightening, I'm going to tighten the jam nut just a little bit more. Now check it again. All right. And it's just a tad bit loose. I'm going to give it just a tiny bit of, I'm going to loosen off the jam nut just a bit. Now this is very delicate, guys, but even if it's a smidgen off, it's not going to kill anything. Oh, see, now I got it too tight. Now, just barely too tight. So I'm just going to push back on the, oops, it's really hard to do this, especially you need like three hands, one to hold this, one, you know, one to put the, okay, let's see what we got here, oh, right, perfect, perfect, that's right, that's good, that's good, see this, this will not go in here, that's good, so we've got this set at ten thousandths, Remember, there is a variable here. It can be from 9 to 11. So if it's not exactly perfect, you're not in danger going at 10,000. So there you go. We've adjusted those. Now, simply let's replace the, uh, the valve cover here. Now, it's best to go ahead and thread these by hand because this is an aluminum block. I like to, whenever I'm dealing with uh, aluminum, I don't like to start things with the actual driver. I like to start things finger Get them going with your finger. That way you make sure you don't cross thread because on aluminum it's easy to cross thread because uh, it's a lot more uh, delicate or softer alloy than, than cast iron or steel. Okay, and then we'll come back and tighten up these nuts and then we'll give it a try and start it up. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so got the spark plug back in, everything ready to go. Let's give her a try. See that it's running really good. Uh, took it out and mowed a, a field of pretty tall weeds uh, where I'm going to set up a deer feeder. And I've got some really strong Oregon uh, gator blades on here that essentially turn it into a shredder. Man, it's super powerful. I was just plowing through that stuff. Um, so you saw that there. Well, that's how you adjust the valves on these things. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Jungle Explorer signing out. Thank you.